toxicology results are back for the man who was shot and killed by police last month while chewing a homeless man's face. Authorities initially thought Rudy Eugene's behavior was so bizarre during the incident, he was probably under the influence of bath salts. But the medical examiner now says that wasn't the case, and the only drug that was detected was marijuana. 65-year-old Ronald Popo needed surgery after the attack, and he remains in the hospital. Police have released few details about the incident, including what triggered it. Friends of Eugene, who was 31, say he was religious and read both the Bible and the Quran. Carlotta Bradley, The Associated Press. Judge a book by its cover. Terrence Daniel told me he's still upset about what happened with his brother two weeks ago. 22-year-old Michael Daniel of Waco was arrested at this home in the 4600 block of Athens. Police told me he viciously attacked a family pet after ingesting a bad batch of K2, a synthetic marijuana. Tonight, his family speaking out after backlash from critics in the neighborhood and on the web. Since the incident, yeah, we get funny looks, strange multiple cars passing by, you know, black phone calls. Family members told me the judgment has been harsh. They described Mike as a loving father of two and a wonderful uncle to his nieces and nephews. And while they acknowledge his mistake of taking the drug, they told me they'll always love and support him because they know it was completely out of his character. Hello everyone, welcome back to GGN. This is part three, the final part for today. So interesting news that uh, came out from the AP, toxicology results back from mes uh, basically the Miami cannibal, K2 marijuana. So, and then man bites dog, eats dog while high on spice or K2 in Texas. And I, I would never try that stuff and I'd recommend nobody else ever tries it, anything like that, that synthetic crap. And it says here it has the effects of marijuana bath salts, which mimics cocaine. So it says here in his Texas home, uh, before he assaulted his housemates and then ran out of the house into his yard where he began crawling around on his hands and knees, he barked and growled at a neighbor and chased him back into his home. After that, he allegedly beat and strangled the dog, uh, this uh, spaniel, medium-sized dog, and then began chewing hun hunks of flesh from the animal. So it says here uh, about these synthetic drugs, they think that they're dying according to the Louisiana um, Poison Control Center. They have extreme paranoia, they're having uh, hallucinations, they see things, they hear things, monsters, demons, aliens. So, this is kind of funny, right? Since then, the government has fought to block the sale and usage of synthetic drugs. Meanwhile, they're dosing out uh, pharmaceutical drugs um, in schools to your children. And hopefully, if you are eating, you might want to stop. Lady Gaga's new perfume created using blend of human blood, semen, and poisonous extract. So, but uh, it goes on here, and it says that, according to the Boston Globe and various other sources, the new Gaga scent, known as Fame, was created using the sample of Gaga's own blood as well as semen from another donor. The blend apparently also contained a highly toxic plant extract that is known to kill humans. So it says here it could just be one big demonic publicity stunt to mark the ugly black liquid packaged in an alien-like egg-shaped bottle held by what appeared to be a slender claw. Then again, these additives into this perfume may not be any more toxic than the synthetic petrochemical-based fragrance chemicals added to most other perfumes. Then we have religious circumcisions are crime, says court. This is in Germany. Religious circumcisions are bodily harm, and thus a crime a German court ruled this week in what was dubbed a precedent-setting decision. It says thousands of very young boys are circumcised in Germany each year. It says here it's mostly performed uh, by Jews and Muslims. Uh, but also it says here in the U.S. most boys are circumcised shortly after birth, regardless of their religion. So this is one thing that I just I want to include. This has to do with the pharaohs in Egypt. So this is what it goes back to. So if you're getting circumcised in your country, like in the U.S., without even religion being put into it, you're most likely under a pharaonic uh, order. Some people are experiencing strange effects that are believed to be caused by a tick bite. The Lone Star Tick has been making its victims allergic to eating meat. Completely new form of food allergy in which you eat beef or pork or lamb and three or four hours later you develop hives some 1,000 cases have been reported with the majority happening in central virginia best-selling author john grisham has struggled with his allergy for several years along with the doctor who discovered its connection to the tick bites 
Lone Star ticks are common in the southeastern and south central part of the United States, but have spread and been found in other parts of the country as well. When antibiotics were first introduced in 1944, they were considered a miracle cure. They were used to treat a wide variety of diseases, like tuberculosis, salmonella, and pneumonia. Antibiotics were intended to be used sparingly to preserve their effectiveness. Today, most of our antibiotics are fed to factory farm animals. Antibiotics make the animals grow faster and enable them to survive unhealthy conditions. This system is creating antibiotic resistant superbugs, making us all vulnerable to diseases they once cured. These superbugs are contaminating our soil, our water, and the very food we eat. It doesn't have to be this way. You have a choice, and together we can change the system. Support meat without drugs and stop the superbugs. Then we have a highly pathogenic H7N3 outbreak in Mexico, the largest in nearly 20 years millions of chickens could be culled. So Mexican authorities are intensifying avian influenza control efforts in a region that houses several large uh, commercial farms, that's factory farms. Further tests determined that strain re responsible, sorry, for more than 200,000 bird deaths at three farms is the highly pathogenic H H7N3 subtype. It says here that the event represents um, basically the first event, uh, avian influenza outbreak in Mexico since the country battled the H5N2 in the mid-90s. And then we move on to genetically modified mosquitoes, up to 20,000 GMO mosquitoes released in Australian towns. I believe they did this um, some, somewhere in the Caribbean as well, possibly Florida. It says here, do you remember uh, how some scientists, researchers, and individuals like Bill Gates were trying to release genetically modified mosquitoes into the environment to use them as vaccinations? It says here, well, that endeavor isn't quite over. It says here, two towns in northern Australia have recently been gifted with 10 to 20,000 genetically engineered mosquitoes, almost completely replacing mosquitoes naturally occurring in the outdoors. It says here, the gene was designed to kill themselves unless given an antibiotic known as, a, known as tetracycline. So it goes on and says that they created this uh, to help control agricultural pests and reduce insect-borne diseases like the nag fever and malaria. Unfortunately, no peer-reviewed scientific proof of safety of such biotechnologies can be offered. Long-term effects have not been at all measured, and once these insects are released, they cannot be recalled. So yeah, this is, uh, this is what I was talking about in Key West. It says here that uh, it'll need to acquire the free and informed consent of residents in Key West for the release, for the release of uh, GM mosquitoes. And it says here, with the previous release of the mosquitoes in the Cayman Islands, there was no public con consultation taken on potential risk and informed consent was not given from locals. All right, then we have Chinese produce human breast milk using genetically modified dairy cows. We heard about this in the UK, but this is from June 24th, 2012. They hope to sell it in uh, supermarkets within three years. It's identical to human milk and has the same immune enhancing and antibacterial features as breast milk, according to the scientists in Beijing. It says here there's already a transgenic herd of 300. It was bred by inserting human genes into clone bovine embryos. These were then implanted in cows. The milk is still undergoing safety tests for now, i.e. they're testing it probably on people who are willing to do it get paid to do it. This is insane. So with all the growth hormones, the antibiotics, um, the pasteurization of the milk, which leaves dead microbes in there and you ingest that, the blood and pus from when they're extracting the milk. It says here the milk will be marketed as a more nutritious drink than dairy milk, right? But God help you if you try to go to your local Amish farmer or somewhere and farmer and try to get some raw milk. So it's interesting. It says it could be a replacement for baby formula, which, you know, they always have the melamine and the baby formula scares that are killing uh, infants. So maybe that's, a, that's why they do it, to do it to get them onto this genetically modified breast milk.
Now there's Prozac for pets. Eight in ten dogs suffer behavioral problems, study reveals. Vets the experts claim millions of dogs are suffering psychological problems, and they're now treating dogs for anorexia, depression, sleeping problems, and even self-mutilation. So here's a good example, right? My neighbor's downstairs. Nobody was there. It's kind of rare, but there was nobody there, and the dog was barking um, for about six to seven hours straight at nothing, right? It says here, dogs who bark at the door when there's no one there among those... Uh, said to be possibly having behavioral conditions. Now, I found out what happened. See, the people that were supposed to take the dogs out, they were given the wrong key. So that's why the dog was barking like that. Or maybe the dog just isn't going to be domesticated. There's different reasons, right? Or maybe the, the dog sensed something that really is a threat that the humans, they just can't, they can't sense or see. It says here, dogs destined for the table. Horrific images show animals being killed, cooked, and served up as a meal in Chinese tradition. So just uh, pretty crazy stuff. You got the little pooches in the cages there getting ridden down the streets. And like I said, I hope you're not eating. Yeah. So then smiling customers. So we have here Maurice Strong Laud's Chinese model at 2012 Earth Summit People's Movement guided by the people's government. So yeah. It says here, at a side event to the recent Earth Summit in Rio, certified man-hater, prominent 20th century eugenicist and devoted collectivist Maury Strong told an audience of environmentalists that China is the model state for the rest of the world to emulate in regards to environmental matters. What China does matters to the world, Strong said, and what China is doing is actually a tremendous source of encouragement. He's a Chinese national, longtime advocate of the sort of draconian population policies that China has forced upon its public. And it goes on and says that uh, he hesitantly admitted to the BBC that such things as a license to have a child is the kind of system he would see implemented globally. It says here that he said global government is neither necessary nor practical, and then goes on and says uh, what is necessary is a global system of governance through which the nations of the world cooperate to address issues which none can deal with alone. They're talking about individual nations, sovereign nations. A Chinese couple has been forced into late-term abortion branded traitors. The husband of a Chinese woman uh, forced to have a late-term abortion has gone into hiding and her family is being harassed, relative says. And this is due to the fact that she could not pay the fine for violating China's one-child policy. China's downplaying risk to children from lead poisoning. This is via Reuters. Chinese children are suffering from lead poisoning from polluting smelters and factories and have been denied testing. And a good positive uh, side effect for the controllers. Lead, especially harmful for children, can lead to learning difficulties and behavioral problems. And often parents who work at the plant bring home extra doses on their clothes and skin. Get this, Chinese Euro 2012 fan dies of sleep deprivation uh, after remaining awake to watch the matches for 11 nights. So, you know, people ask, where are all the men to help fight this global government and defend their families? Euro 2012 wife's fury after her husband heads out to the Ukraine to see England play instead of celebrating her anniversary. Remember this article? Then Australia's just getting worse and worse. Warning, sorry, a warning has been issued over anti-carbon tax posters. It says here saying the risk a million dollar fines if the information is found to be misleading. So, so they say don't allow this politician to drag you into his cynical scare campaign because the consequences of that are very serious, says the assistant treasurer who wants more funds, right? If you do mislead your customers, then you could face fines up to $1 million. Then it says here, MPs have no idea how to meet the carbon target they voted for. So the great global warming scare has long been dying. It says here that uh, James Lovelock, their green guru and spokesman, uh, now admits that the warming scare was all a tragic mistake and that talk of sustainable development is just a meaningless drivel. It says here at least Britain is the only country in the world committed to cut its emissions, CO2 emissions, by 80% in less than 40 years. Good luck, Britain. And rest in peace. A study says climate change will cause more wildfires. Of course, climate change is due to spraying of aerosols, i.e. chemtrails. Prediction says global warming will cause everything, just like the Club of Rome said. Of course, some good harp ionospheric pulsing can create some record heat that hampers the fight to end these wildfires. So there's fires in Delaware in the Northeast, North Carolina in the South, in Alabama, in Wisconsin. I heard earlier in Iowa and then even in Florida, so everywhere. And what's it all about? 32,000 evacuated. They were ordered to leave by force. Or is it cover for the U.S. and Russian soldiers possibly still training? Or, or does it have to do with Denver Airport's secret underground base? Either way, this is GGN and I'm Darko. Thank you.